everyone, today it's a February favourites time. I'm going to tell you the few beauty products that I've loved during February and the things that I've been reaching for pretty much every day. First one isn't going to be a surprise if you've seen my last few videos. It's my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I am just obsessed with this. What annoys me about NARS packaging is that it gets dead dirty but I just can't stop using this. It's just been my go-to all month and I'm really happy with it. I definitely notice a big difference in the longevity and the general wear. If you're umming and ahhing about the price, it's definitely worth the extra for a foundation because it just makes your skin look 10 times smoother and better and it lasts so much longer than any other kind of long-lasting drugstore foundation I've tried. I will link my foundation routine using this below if you've not seen that video yet. My next favourite is something that's had a lot of buzz in the beauty blogging community this month and for good reason. It's Benefit's new mascara, the Roller Lash Mascara and this is a mini one. Their Real is my all time favourite mascara I'm going to say with confidence because that's a bold statement but for me Benefit just do mascara really well. They just have the perfect plasticky ones and Roller Lash, I think if you found their reel a little bit clumpy maybe or a little bit too much for you, a little bit too volumising and thickening, you'll love Roller Lash because it's much more of a lengthening, lifting, separating, curling type mascara with this really good curved wand that really lifts your lashes up so I've absolutely loved using that and been reaching for it every day. I've also been loving my Clinique Deep Comfort Hand and Cuticle Cream. This is a very heavy duty hand cream if you have really dry skin on your hands which I know a lot of people do at this time of year when it's really cold outside. I definitely have really struggled with consistently dry patches on my hands here and it's just not nice. Having dry hands is my pet peeve and for my work I feel like I really need to look after my hands so this has really helped me and it's a step up from my usual soap and glory hand food which I love but I would say that this is slightly greasier. It's not greasy but soap and glory hand food is pretty much you can't feel it on your hands at all Whereas this, you can feel it for a couple of minutes, so what I've been doing is applying this at night because it's a bit richer. It can really sit for a good seven or eight hours then and really work to help soften your hands. So you can see it's very well loved and there's not a lot left, which I'm really sad about because this is a bit pricier than I would usually spend on a hand cream. But if you're wanting a really, really intensive hand cream and you don't mind paying a bit extra for it, and you have sensitive skin because this is like fragrance free and suitable for sensitive hands if you have like any sort of skin issues obviously it depends on what you have but if you're kind of really struggling with your hands I think investing in this would be a really good option for you. And my last beauty favourite is Chloe, the original Chloe. I know the new one has come out this month or recently the Chloe Love Story and I really want to try that because I generally love the Chloe fragrances across the whole range. It's just such a pretty floral girly scent and I just love it. They're just perfect for everyday wear and perfect for spring. Now it's hopefully gonna start getting warmer in the, in the next few months. It's very powdery, it's very floral, you can definitely pick up like rose notes, I will link my blog post below where I talk more in depth about the notes. I don't usually talk about tech and other stuff like that on my channel but I do have somewhat of an interest in stuff like that and especially considering I work on the internet a lot and rely on the internet it's very important for me to have the right stuff and be connected and everything and this month I have finally found a solution to getting Wi-Fi in our spare room which basically holds my desk so it's like my little office space in the spare room and I've never been able to get 
a connection in there. Really annoying, but we got this TP-Link Wi-Fi range extender from Amazon and it's about £25 and it's worked really well. I've not had a problem connecting in the spare room at all. I've been using internet there all day, every day pretty much at my desk and the connection's not gone out, it's been really consistent. This has definitely been a favourite this month and I'm really thankful to have found it and wanted to mention it in case any of you ha are having a similar issue in your house. And those are my February favourites, please let me know what yours are in the comments and if you're new to my channel I would love for you to subscribe, I post videos on Mondays and Fridays and I'd love to see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching, bye!